Greetings everyone, it's Gamerath here, welcome back to more Hearthstone, another week another Tavern Brawl. This week, Brawl Block Gods, Gadgets, and Gurubashi. Construct a deck using only cards from Whispers of the Old Gods, Mean Streets of Gadgets, and Rastakhan's Rumble. Don't remember if we've had this particular um, set before, but we've had the Brawl Block. Going with Hunter, has got Hunter Quest, and it's basically just Beasts and uh, Cthune. Because, <laughs> I don't know, can't think of anything else. Exciting with the cards available. Um, just jump on in, see what's up, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, initially went with the beast uh, theme, and I was like, eh, there's not enough really good beast synergy here. And I was like, oh, Cthulhu's a thing. Sure. <laughs> Snuck it in there. So, yeah, we'll see what's up. <laughs> we will see what is up. Uh, let's toss these back. Um, Okay, uh, I don't know. This is kind of meh, because I have the Cthune stuff in hand. I could not play this. I guess I could coin this and then that, but I don't know if I want to coin it just to get the 1-1 the onto the bat. So, we could see what we draw in two things. So, or in, uh, we could see what's up in two draws. Uh, see if we can get a beast to get the synergy. But, we'll see. I don't know. Um, I also, hmm. I guess if I do play this, it can test this, but... Uh, okay, well, that's fine, that's whatevs. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and play that. It does, eh, well, I don't know. Let's see if this does ha uh, force my opponent to hear power, if, or they have a two drop. This does contest a two drop, you know, a two health two drop, so maybe it is worth, uh, although this probably would have been fine because it would have countered that. I don't know, maybe I should have just done that instead. Whatever. <laughs> We're just going. We're just doing today. Okay. Okay, this is actually better because it does trade. I think it hits, actually, can't remember if it hits uh, face or not, but let's go ahead and play this. We'll see what it hits. Um, let's see, I can't, yeah, I can't remember. To a random enemy, so that actually was not guaranteed. I was like, oh, this is guaranteed because I'm so used to things being like, it hits minions now, not face, but this was not the case. So now we've got a 3-6, three, 3 mana drop, so we'll see where that goes. Or if I want to start doing some Cthulhu synergy. So far I've shown it looks like beasts, right? And then drop a Cthulhu thing. I'm like, whoa, what? That's crazy. That's weird. That was unexpected. Let's see what my opponent wants to drop here. Looks like thinking about just hero powering. What was my opponent going with this, though? Um, I don't know what enchantments potentially could be going on. I might just drop this. Uh, ooh, I forgot to take this out. Because now all my minions are not beasts, so that was a bit of an oof. I think I'm going to do this in this, just to keep the board. And now they're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Is that actually a Cthulhu beast deck? Or maybe it's just a Cthulhu deck that just had some beasts in there for filler. Who knows at this point? I actually don't know what my opponent's going for. I mean, there's not a whole lot of cards uh, available, so I don't know. What is the meta? <laughs> right? Like, we have no idea. All right, but I am definitely up. Um, you know, we have equivalent cards in hand. Basically, I still get one more card. Uh, I have board and I have the coin. So, so far, I think I am doing better than my opponents. Question here is, it doesn't involve classic cards, right? So there's no constant crazy. I can go a little bit wide. Um, question here is, do I just punch face? I think I'm just going to punch face. Let my opponent make the trades for me, right? Go a little wide. Like, what am I playing into? I don't think Consecrate is a thing. Um, but I very well could be. I have been wrong many a times. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. We will see what's up. We will see what's up. Sure, my opponent has some surprises for me as well, potentially. Arena's full. Beat it. Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's pretty, that's pretty solid. I actually don't think... Can I get through that? Uh, three, five. I can technically get through it. Can technically get through it. Or do I want to clear that first? I might just clear this. And we'll set this up. And... I'll go ahead and just hear power, I think. Do I bump, though? 
I think I'll sit. I think I'll sit. Technically can clear this just on board. I really thought about just dropping some things rather than hero powering, but I don't know. I probably should have, to be honest, right? Like I said, what, are, what am I going to play into? Um, what else is there that could punish me for going wide? Nothing immediately jumps to mind, but as we've discussed, that's not always, it doesn't mean anything for me. So, all right, that is a bummer. Faces the place here. All right, so we will go like this. Hum, hum, hum. I mean, yeah. Could go with that at some point. I still have plenty of minions that are not beasts. So, uh... Yeah. AoE here would be devastating. <laughs> but, like I said, I don't think... And even Paladin, even in normal or regular circumstances, I don't think Paladin has a lot of AoE. But, could very well be wrong. Keep saying that, but it is true. It is true. So now my opponent has card advantage, but I have board presence. What are they going to drop? Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cute synergy there. That's kind of cute synergy. Alright. I'll take that out next turn for sure, for sure. Or they're going to take it out for me. That works too. I think that's fine. Cute. Alright. Got some rush action. Oof. Might as well just play this. I'm not going to draw all thingies, right? So... That is unfortunate. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'll go ahead and just play that out. Let's go like this. So yeah, I definitely should have removed that, but whatevs. Now I'm in a tricky spot because I don't have a lot of... I have a lot of like cheap stuff, but not as much late. I don't have any draw, so... Right now my opponent... I think my opponent... It's not super threatened. Dance with me. Okay. That's helpful for me. It's not a big body. It's not that impactful. I'm not that scared of it. I'm actually not really scared of it at all, actually, so. Okay. Goes for hero power, sure, sure. Okay. So go here. Go ahead and go there. Let's do this. Let's go like this. Let's put Nana up on one of these chums. Keep the minion. Hit the button. And we'll just sit. We'll chill. We'll hang. So now, definitely have board. My opponent still has the hand. But we'll see what my opponent wants to drop. I do have a couple late game-ish things. Obviously, Cthulhu. I think there's the animal, not animal companion, uh, Call of the Wild. Is that what it's called? But other than that, I don't think I have a lot of late game. I didn't put the 7-6, the 6, was this 6-mana 7-6, the other Cthulhu card? Oh boy. I think the Ancient One is, what, 30-30? So, am I scared of that, though, is the question. I can clear it. I can clear it. It is a lot of investment. Um, yeah. I'm scared enough of it, I think. So I'll go like this, go like this, and sure, hit the button, I think it might as well banana, sure. Um, I'm actually not in a good spot, uh, I'm top decking, my opponent is four cards, I only have three minions on board, so now it's like a... Yeah, now it's not great. Now it's not great. We're not really close. Ooh, that's ooh, that's good. That's good. We're not really close to lethal, so I really need my eight mana boy here. Or Cthune, I guess. Whenever you restore three or more health to your hero draw a card. Okay. Who's ready to make some money? Okay. Yep, that's not helpful. Oops, I broke it so we hit the button. Guess we do a little bit of trading. 
do I push? I have three, six, eight. Huh. I think I have to commit to the damage. Two off lethal next turn pending taunt or heal. They can clear my whole board. And he, my opponent can. And I have this and this. I mean, my opponent is on a clock. I'm now going to be on a clock too. Um, they do have heal. They have shown me heal, right? They had the, the socialite or whatever it's called, right? That does heal. So, uh, oof. That is a bit of an oof. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, I can still get past it with my hero power, right? So, it does prevent... Wait, why didn't he give the adjacent things? Oh, Divine Shield. Okay, okay. Okay. Am I dead? It's 10... 14, 15, 7 damage. Hmm. Yeah, this deck was not... <laughs> I did not look at my curve after I just clicked all the stuff. I'm, I'm sure my opponent's got heal here, right? <laughs> Options. That was the clutch draw. I mean, if not Cthulhu, like that was probably the only other out. Okay. That last card. I don't think we should have won this. I was winning in the beginning. They were able to pull. How did they? How did they get ahead? They just had more value. I guess. Oh man. Oh wait, hold on. What? Oh, all your health. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Oof. All right. Not deserved, I don't think, but. Take those. Alright. So, how do we refine this deck? <laughs> so many ways to make this deck better. Um, probably could use a little bit of cycle. Or just more value, right? Look at all that stuff. That's that's uh, that's what we like to see. Um, how do we make this better? We don't need as much... I mean, to be honest, we just take out some of the... Um, the beast stuff, like, I don't think we really need... That's not always gonna hit. That's probably a weaker one. Take that out. What are we actually going for right now, though? I don't know. There's not really much synergy in this, right? <laughs> um, I mean, we could put... I mean, we, we kind of lean more on the Cthulhu, right? So we just put these guys in. Uh, I don't know. Maybe another one of these... Uh, Later game things, sure. Like we have, we still have a decent early game, and we have some mid, and then there's no cycle though, huh? We could use a little bit of draw. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's still reasonable, I think. I don't know. This was. I mean, like I said, I think it was we were relatively fortunate to win. Um, definitely did not have the end game there, and we were missing a lot of kind of cycle. So I don't know. Maybe do we take out some of this early game to put some cycle in? Do we go death rattle instead, right? Because we have some death rattle like um, draw, but there's like this bit too. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to make. I mean, like if you look at the, I mean, because there's gonna be limited like class cards, right? And such. There's only like what was that? Was like two pages, three pages of class cards. Um, is there anything that stands out here in terms of good stuff? There probably is. I'm just not paying attention to. Um, oops, that's not what I want. Genzo actually might not be terrible. Um, I don't know. I mean, some of these draw engines. Um. Nah. 
I mean, some of the, like, Psychotron might not be terrible. Taunt, Divine Shield, Reasonable Body. I don't know. <laughs> uh, somehow, the previous deck worked out. I think this is marginally better, but not really. But, anyways, a win's a win. That's all that counts, right? Well, that's all that matters. So, anyways, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.